What's up guys, it's Brandon Jay, and for the next seven days, I'm gonna be stranded out here on the ocean on a houseboat where we have limited materials. We're only gonna have the food we bring, the food we catch, water that we brought and or accumulate, and only one 100 watt solar panel that's supposed to power all of our electronics and batteries that we have to trickle charge. The good news is, as you guys know, I do have two beautiful wave runners. So we're gonna be using these as tools to get to and from all of our destinations to be able to spear fish and acquire any other food and meals. That's essentially the whole mission of this houseboat trip is to see how long we can go out here and kind of fend for ourselves. As you guys know, unfortunately, our world is in a really weird situation right now with a lot of sickness and virus going around. We kind of wanted to come up with an idea, a plan, a solution to completely self-isolate ourselves by going out here, having only what we brought and being in total isolation for around seven days, if we can even make it that long. Now, how this all came about is pretty intriguing. As you guys know, I've been filming with AP Bassin quite a bit and also linked up with a guy named Elliot who's like a shark research specialist. You guys saw me do the spear fishing with him when I got the 50 inch CUDA. Elliot's basically been working on this houseboat for months now. It's not completely finished. The engine doesn't even work, so we have to pull it with the skis, which will be pretty interesting to show you guys. But we all thought it'd be cool to team up, isolate ourselves on the water for seven days. Now you can check out AP Bassin's channel. It's gonna be linked in the description below. You're gonna see him a ton. You can also check out Elliot's Instagram. It's gonna be linked in the description below. He does a lot of shark research specialty stuff. It's pretty cool. He gets blood samples, tags those sharks, tracks them. Also something really cool, Elliot's gonna be doing guided trips off this houseboat um, when it's completely finished. So if you wanna book a trip with him after you see what we've been doing, of course, when all the virus and stuff is over, uh, you can just head over to his Instagram and actually book a trip with Elliot to go out and do these crazy adventures too. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and hop on the Wave Runners. We have to go pick up this boat and tow it about five or six miles. It should be absolutely insane. So AP's right here. How you doing, AP? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, bro. We got the whole freaking houseboat behind us. That is insane, dude. That is so insane looking. Yeah! <laughs> oh, dude, this is epic. <laughs> Wow, man. So we finally made it out of the canal. Well, that was the absolute worst part. Um, now we're just out in the open. I have no clue how long we have to tow it from here. Uh, probably a couple hours at least, but we're gonna go ahead and resituate now. Get me tied up on the front with AP. And uh, we're gonna have both the skis just freaking pull this thing. It's gonna be sick, dude. We got the houseboat completely rigged up finally. We got Elliot on the boat. We got Jack James on the ski. We got me on this ski about to pull the fully equipped houseboat. And we got Peric on the houseboat. So it's uh, it's been a freaking day. And uh, right now we're about to get after it. And um, we are on our journey to set this thing off in the middle of the ocean where we're gonna stay for the next week or two. We don't even know how long. <laughs> It's gonna be epic, man. We got everything we need for an amazing adventure. Amazing next few days. It took a lot of work, but now we're finally here. Last pool, and then uh, we're gonna drop those anchors. I think we may just pull this off right before sunset. We've got about 30 minutes. <laughs> That's about all the time we got. We got it going, though. We got the whole crew out here. We're just on cruise control. We're just getting to the spot, man. <laughs> wow. We cranked up the speed a little bit. We're out of the no wake zone. Check it out. We got a houseboat surfing back there, baby. Woo! This is so freaking sick, dude. I've done a lot of adventures on my skis, but I never once said I'd be doing this. So we have officially made it to the houseboat now, and um, wow, what a journey to get here. But like I said, for the next seven days, this is gonna be home sweet home. So let me go ahead and take you on a houseboat tour and show you uh, what we're gonna be living with, what supplies we have, and um, how we're going to plan to survive for the next seven days, come on. So right in here, this is like our, uh, what's up AP? What's up man, how's it going? This is AP, he's gonna be with us the entire trip. 
um this is basically like our big living room if you will i don't know it's pretty cool um a, a full glass front everything out here is just uh it's really cool you can just kind of sit in here look out see the water um it's pretty unique to like be living somewhere where it's like 360 degree water view um but yeah so we've got a bed right here uh, we actually have like a mattress thing that's going to go here as well let me go ahead and take you downstairs now so downstairs we have two bedrooms under here where people can actually stay right now we're going to use that for storage we've got a whole pantry here we've got storage over there we've got um shower and bathroom here uh basically this is going to be kind of our like uh area where we're going to keep all of our food and storage for all that stuff we have like uh four cases of water so here's the back half of the boat again a whole bunch of storage here this is a really nice bed this is where ap is sleeping this is where your boy Brandon J is going to be sleeping here and uh, we actually have this guy right here, which is going to be clutch. So we got an AC unit and um, I'm going to show you how we're going to power everything in the house. Well, pretty much everything. Now, my favorite part, I'm going to give you the tour of the outside. This is like the coolest thing. So inside, nice, comfortable outside, like total next level. So this right here is the first lower deck. You can see Elliot's flying the good old Florida flag, and he's actually got his his uh, logo on his lower flag, which I love. I love that. Um, but as you guys know, he's the shark research specialist. He's got all of his shark rods. He's actually got some bait out right now. He's got this whole gear is set up. It's pretty cool. Um, I've got my big Pelican cases. We've got the Yeti coolers. I've got another Pelican case. Everything's full of gear. We've got a ton of ice. I think we have over 100 pounds of ice. Um, with all of our meats and stuff and everything up here is completely weatherproof. All right, and last but not least, we have the final top deck. This is so high up, man. I feel like you can literally see everything around you here, which is really cool. Um, I've never really experienced the water from this high up, so I'm really excited to kind of sit out here and catch all the uh, sunrises and sunsets. I feel like it's gonna be seriously so beautiful. Um, but speaking of all the sun, this is how we're gonna power everything on this trip, which is going to be so freaking sick. This is my favorite thing ever. Um, the whole trip, we're gonna be using solar panels right here. This is a 100 watt panel, and this is gonna power pretty much our entire operation. Um, right here, I have this battery bank, and it's already at 84%, it was at zero. So just from this morning, we've already got 84% battery. Um, but on this power bank, uh, it's gonna be completely trickle charged and slow charged by the power uh, or the solar panels and um, Basically at night. We're gonna plug in everything uh, Except the air conditioner on that we're gonna be able to run lights music uh, We're gonna be able to charge laptops to be able to edit during the night charge camera batteries phones and We're gonna be able to do everything off that unit and be able to restore that energy every single day uh, with the solar panel so uh, we've checked the weather for the next week. It's going to be pretty good. We're going to have a few cloudy days where we might not be able to fully get a full charge with solar, um, but we'll just have to use it when we need it. And when we don't, we charge it. So it's a pretty cool situation. I'm super stoked about this adventure. I think it's going to be one for the books. Like I said, we're out here for seven days. Um, we have a little bit of food. We have a little bit of water to live off uh, now, like for maybe two to three days. And the rest of those days, we have to go out and get our own meal. So drop some ideas in the comment section below of how we should go about capturing food um, and getting more water. I think we should have enough water for the whole trip, but if not, maybe we can collect rain or something like that. The concept is gonna be like complete isolation. So I'm not really sure about everything yet we're just gonna figure it out as as we go but please drop some cool video ideas for us to do while we're out here um, and let us know what kind of content you want to see all right guys so that is gonna pretty much wrap it up for today all the videos you see after this are gonna be all the adventures we do out here on the boat Elliot's got some cool ideas I have some cool ideas Peric is Peric so who knows what's gonna happen with that uh, but make sure you check out everybody and show them some love Elliot has an Instagram it's gonna be linked in the description below so when did you get this houseboat so I got this four months ago. Four months ago. Yeah. And he showed me pictures of what it used to look like versus what it is now. And it's still like under construction. Um, but dude, it's come we're a like, long way. We're like 80%. 80%. So but the next 20 I mean, is... This is 48 years old. This yeah. boat has been floating off of Captiva for 30 years. I mean, the, the stories behind it, just everything I've... I didn't know how to do any of this. Like, yeah. I'm like YouTubing <laughs> stuff, trying to walk around Home Depot and figure it out. But... I just think uh, for tagging sharks and the research right. side of everything, the it's just a really great it's a, platform. It's, it's a super sick fun. platform, dude. And yeah. 
So uh, one thing that Elliot didn't ask me to say, but I think it's really cool and worth noting, um, he is gonna be potentially running charters off this once it's completely finished. He runs charters right now for shark fishing and all types of cool adventures. So if you're interested in any of that, his Instagram is gonna be linked in the description below where you can actually reach out to him personally and book a trip on something like this when it's done. Also, don't forget to follow AP Bass and he's gonna be linked in the description below. You're gonna get to see everybody's own adventures um, by following all of us for the next seven days. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You got to see what's on the houseboat and uh, it's gonna be a bunch of crazy Crazy adventures from here. So as always, we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Peace out. You and I till the end. Don't need to pretend again and again. We'll stick together. Can you believe that? A freaking houseboat.